Hello and welcome back everyone to the Footy and Chips podcast. This is episode 24. We are going to be discussing match week 37, so essentially a weekend preview of all the games coming up. And do we have some big games coming up for you, especially, what, it's less than two weeks away now, away from the season ending and crowning the champions uh, of the Barclays Premier League. So as usual, we have a resident Chelsea fan, Sal's with the trim. Come on, Four. cuz. Got the, got the sauce back, bruv. You see that? Can uh, all the mandem give a vote if his trim's looking good or not, which is a bit weird. He, he made a special request here. Can you... Bro, I want to talk about I, my I, trim I, for I, all I, the mandem. How, how, how are you asking the mandem about my trim, bruv? And to read, bruv? You, you told me to say that. Game, no, I, I didn't, bruv. <laughs> Stop trying it, bruv. Stop trying it. Bro. We have Stop our... Down, cuz. <laughs> we, we had our... Um, thankfully, we have two other panelists today as well they were missing for a week don't know where they went a wall no sick no nothing but they're back now we have Tariq, our liverpool fan and raj our arsenal fan as well yeah, well, welcome back boys you were missing that saka but now you're back nice yeah. that's a good one Sal. that's a good one trust me <laughs> i was missing anyway but, but that silence man no 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 i know <laughs> the silence has killed it bro Anyway, anyway, um, we'll start off, I, I guess, with the biggest game, and it's not anyone we support anyway, but we'll just briefly talk a bit because obviously it's the first game on the weekend and probably one of the potential biggest of impacts. It's the Fulham versus Man City game. Oh, oh. Is that the biggest game. Well, yeah, come on, like it can have a massive impact on how the weekend like plays out. Yes, no. If they draw, lose potentially. Well, we all okay. know who's gonna win. I don't think. Yeah. Not... The big know, game is have... um, Arsenal Man U, isn't it? Yeah, but that's on the Sunday. But Saturday, oh, obviously, the first game. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Saturday is a twelve thirty kickoff, so it's literally the first game of the weekend. So, okay. how's everyone thinking, or what does everyone think about that game? I'm not gonna watch it, boys. I um, just because I know City will win, but there Fulham is like... to win. See, there is a slight glimmer of hope in and sighting in me. I thought to did like you know, I like switch the scores on at three o'clock and I see like a one all. And so I don't know. Obviously, City are, are gonna win. The three remaining fixtures I have City all winning them. Can't see anyone uh, any of them dropping points. So unfortunately, I don't think Arsenal are gonna win the league. So let's close the pod now. We're not talking about Arsenal though. This is it's about not Man Arsenal. City Fulham, it's, 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 it's it's about Man City Fulham. Okay? What Man, can, 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 can we set some ground rules What's from the beginning? I know. Just, you know, like we're just going to Arsenal. We'll talk about Arsenal later. Uh, we'll so talk yeah, about Arsenal when we get to the Arsenal game, Raj. But in terms of just the City Fulham, do you think there's a potential upset? Any of you guys, or do you, you know, because they have been, and well, as you can see, recent form shows, they haven't been going through the best. So the last win was uh, two 0 uh, against Fulham. But in terms of overall, um, they have had some big wins there. They beat Arsenal, obviously. They smashed uh, Tottenham. Um, did they draw with Liverpool? Did Liverpool? No, Liverpool won three one, right at uh, Craven Cottage. Yeah. Um, so I guess you know, on their day, this especially this season, they've shown they can be quite the team at home. That is, um, obviously, their striker Munez. Um, he's kind of doing the business uh scoring some really important goals for them uh yeah so what'd you get like do you think awobi or anyone like that perlino i don't know why you're laughing like why do you keep doing that what's wrong with you no no because uh, yeah. uh, awobi is um uh, whatever his name oh is the Arsenal, yeah. the Arsenal he's the yeah. exhausted but he's you know influential what? for them Boys, this is a difficult one, yeah, because Fulham ain't got nothing to play for they're not really playing for mm. europe they're did you see what they were doing in twitter the training Nah. <laughs> they're flying kites during a train. <laughs> well, bruv, that tells you everything you have to know, innit? They're, they're safe. They're literally safe, not playing for anything. They, they, yeah. They've got nothing yeah. to play for. Haaland's mm. got his shooting boots on Um, recently. I think he scored four no, in the p- past game. So I think yeah. right time that's come in. So I, I think it's going to be a breeze for them, man. Yeah. All right. T? I think same. I think it should be a breeze for them, man. It's... um. It's, it's that time of the year with Man City, they just don't drop points, isn't it? At the end of the mm. season. <clears throat> and, mm. and, you know, you have to say this season, 
mm. Man City haven't been great. They've not been like their best. Yeah. Um. So, but <laughs> there's just something about them at the end of the season, crunch time. Paulinho guy. Um. Obviously, Bayern wanted to buy him, and obviously that that move failed at the last minute. Did Liverpool want him as well by any chance, or was it just a Bayern? I don't know. I don't think don't Liverpool know. wanted him. Uh, okay. The two players um, Liverpool wanted, Chelsea took. <laughs> yeah. No, I, th- I thought they were linked with... Pa- because Pellini at one point, it seemed like everyone wanted... Why do you keep laughing? I don't why do you keep it. laughing, guys? What's that laughing? What's that laughing? So, why are you laughing? Uh, no, I know, because I miss Raji's house. Normally, he's got a house in the background, isn't it? Oh. Just... Oh, All right. to- today we got chaps oh, sitting on the floor. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Bed, bed, bed. Anyway, um, so uh, the so uh, since we're talking about the panelists here, so the other big game is obviously is Ch- uh, Ch- Nottingham Forest versus Chelsea, obviously at Nottingham Forest ground. Uh, Nottingham Forest in the news for some good reason, bad reason, controversial reasons of recent times because of what's been going on this season. Nottingham Forest have beaten Chelsea, obviously at Stamford Bridge one 0 So potentially, I mean, they are fighting for something. Uh, well, you know, survival and all that nonsense. But in terms of, they could potentially do the double here if they do beat Chelsea. Um, you know, you guarantee not get is it guaranteeing them safety? We'll check later. But obviously, it will definitely help them massively towards uh, getting safety. And depending on what happens with Luton, if they lose, no, it might guarantee the safety. But the last game, obviously, uh, was away at Sheffield United. They won three one. Chelsea won five nil. Complete smashing. We did talk about it last week in last week's pod. Please go check that out. But overall, Chelsea have been in slightly better form overall last five games. As you can see, three wins, one draw, one loss. Whereas Nottingham Forest, one draw, three losses and one win. But being at Nottingham Forest, Sals, what do you think? How do you, how are you feeling about this? Well, it's a, it's, this is a tough one, yeah, because we've come into very good form. We're playing the football that we are wanted us to play in it but yep. like you said Nottingham Forest they're fighting for their lives mate this is going to be a tough one Um, I think these are the teams you want to avoid that are like obviously fighting for mm. Mm. Um, but at the same time we should be hungry as well because we're it's possible now we could potentially be going for sixth obviously we're seventh in the table at the moment which I thought was not going to happen so in contention for Europe I'd rather go for Europa than the Conference League or whatever it's called Um, but Tough one, but I, I, I see us sneaking a win here. I think we, we, we're going to do it. I think oh, really? Is You're confident? Yeah, bro. I, I have to be, you know, two back-to-back London derbies. Tottenham, West Ham destroyed both them um, teams and played really good football, scoring goals for fun now as well. So, yeah, it's looking good, man. Jackson, Kai's here. And, yeah, he's looking like a baller, mate. You know do you mean? think someone like... um? What do you call it? What's his name? Um, obviously we got Hudson Odoi. Do you think there's a little story there? Oh, dead, dead player. Bro. Dead player, okay. <laughs> dead player, man. You know, we should have sold him to Bayern Munich when they first came in for him. For Thirty 40, million, whatever. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Whatever it was. You know, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of these ex-players. Like Taiwi, uh, he was he was an ex-Liverpool player, and obviously at the beginning of the season when they get, were getting a lot of points, he was like one of the big scorers for them. Uh, Ilanga obviously is the Man United winger that they rated highly, but obviously now they sold to Forest. Like he's not the best, but obviously both these players between them got a lot of pace. Uh, obviously Taiwo, the striker, is very strong. We got Origi, ex Liverpool player as well there. And in in the midfield here, Giovanni Reina. I'm, I'm not sure if you guys know. He used to play for Dortmund. Uh, he was really highly rated there, but he fell out with I think the manager or something. And in the US team, he also fell out. Yeah, I think his form's a bit off, but he was dubbed like the new Pulisic when he was coming through um, Dortmund's rank. But he's mm-hmm. alone there. Danilo, you know, he might be a good player. I don't know why you're laughing, just because I know some of these players. But yeah, uh, so, like Czech Kuriti, obviously veteran player, Crystal Palace. Morgan Gibbs-White is the danger player. Don't you think any of these players could potentially... Not- Cause... You know, I'll, I'll be honest, but the thing is, they're going to have to come mm. out and play because they need to score. They need to win the game mm. more than us. You, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. Um, so I think if they play football, because then because Chelsea, we know they struggle, but the teams that just sit back, I think yeah. they're going to have to come out. They're going to have a bit of pressure. They're, they're at home as well. Um, I think if they start to play football, we're just going to pick them off. 
I really think yeah. the pace of you know the likes of Jackson and Mudrick and all that, whatever you both say about them, but the pace is just on another level. I think we're just gonna hit them and yeah, we should we should win this one. All right, what do you guys think? Oh my god, this guy I swear. Why do you... I have Did no you... idea? Why do you lock off? Um anyway, I didn't I lock off. I'm just no, he's he's backstage, he can hear us, but He's oh. laughing his head off, so I just removed him from the. Anyway, he's putting his hands on the my, camera anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll give my view. <laughs> Why are you laughing for, Sounds? Bro, this boy can't stop laughing, man. I don't know because I was, is... as I was talking, I was just looking at him. He's just like, you know. Yeah, I'm... I was laughing as well, looking at him. But anyways, um, so Chelsea, I, I do think, I, I honestly think they've um hit form. I think they'll um, it should be a win for them. And last two games was clean sheet as well, Sounds. I don't know if you. I, I you take that as um like solid news, but two games back to back, London derbies, clean sheets. I I I do I honestly think that Chelsea are gonna win. I I think they'll win the next three games. Um, mm. Chelsea they have got three games left. I think Chelsea will win the next three games. Mm. It's 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 down to how Newcastle and Tottenham do. Um, essentially. Um, but I think Chelsea will win the next three games. I think, yeah, I think they, they've they've turned a corner. And um, and I was looking at some stats the other day. So I was, in the last 17 games, Chelsea have only lost twice. Yeah, this is the thing, bro. Like, I think we've lost, since February, we've lost two uh, games. Obviously, that... Yeah. It's the draws, isn't it? It's the draws. Yeah, it's, it's, the, yeah. it's the draws that kill you. Like, Sheffield United, Burnley and all that. Those were supposed to be wins, bro. But... Final, yeah, and margins, it's, isn't it? Yeah, so I think that those two clean sheets will really give um, the even the Aston Villa because, game, even the Aston Villa game, yeah, we should have won that. But Chelsea are scoring, the they're down. scoring, they're just conceding, and yeah, if, if it it's is the defense that, you know, is letting them yeah. down because if the defense is um, like last two games clean sheet, I, I really think that will give Chelsea a boost, and I think they'll win the next three games. We did talk about uh, in, in the last pod. One of the big factors, we well, I don't know if it's factor or not, but some people on online were saying Twitter, it's a is a bit of a coincidence. As soon as uh, Enzo Fernandez is out of the team, there seems to be a bit more balance, a bit more like everyone seems to know what they're doing a bit better. Apparently, Casado's playing better now. That oh, yeah. Enzo's oh, not yeah. in the team between Conor Gallagher and Casado, there seems to be better balance in that team now. Um, nodding his head, you agree, yeah? No, no, no I, I, I said I said that in the last pod as well, brother. I think taking Enzo out has you know there's a better mm. balance. Casado's looking yeah. at the player that we wanted. But I was and... thinking, what do you think, Terry? Do you do you think I, that could be a reason or I don't I mean I didn't I, I haven't seen a lot of um the Chelsea games, but I I wouldn't make too much of the two like I, I, I think give credit to Chelsea, um, not so much that oh, we won the game because Enzo's not there. I think they just the won players, on their own accord. I think all the players, even Enzo, I think if he was on the pitch, it would have been it wouldn't have been different. I am, honestly, I don't think one player mm. would change the whole team. And I the think they the, the the last two games against Tottenham and West Ham, although West Ham, I mean, although Tottenham were playing for something, they have been quite diabolical in terms of overall play. So I think you guys, Chelsea, were playing them at a good time because they just lost the North London derby. They're a bit demoralised and they're all over the place. The defence, they're a bit like... Postokoglu, I think he's, he's he's bottled it a bit in terms of who he's playing, how he's managing the team. What he's saying in his press conferences is kind of uh, hypocritical to what he was saying earlier of the season. But yeah, um, so what, we, what we're saying, well... Uh, Chelsea's T Chelsea win then you as well. Chelsea win for me. Yeah. Chelsea win. All right. Raj. Raj. Dead game here. Yeah. Chelsea win. <sighs> okay. Can I? Fantastic input, bruv. Thank you. Yeah. No, Thank I'm you. gonna explain why I was laughing. Oh, yeah. go on then. Let's oh, no, explain yourself. Sorry. No, yeah. You said Giovanni Reina was supposed to be the next Pulisic. You can't compare Pulisic. <laughs> if you compare up and coming player, you play compare him to an idol, like someone who's made it. Who is Pulisic, bruv? 
That's why I was laughing. But anyway. But hold uh, on. No, 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 no. I say I in Alif's defense. Do you know in what? Terms of, because of the American, because he was American. <laughs> And how many? How best, many great how American many, players? Who's not, not, the best too, American right, player? Right. Donovan, London Donovan. London, London, but different. Pulisic is held in high regard in America. He is. Like, yeah. he is. Like, he's the, he's he's the star best, boy, isn't it? Yeah. He's the best soccer player. Who does he player. play for now? AC Milan, bro. AC Milan, bro. What are you talking about? No way. Okay. He's ripping he's it up. Back. Well, not ripping it up, but he's doing well in terms and, of and London. And before you disrespect Pulisic, bro, he's won the Champions League, which your club hasn't done. But yeah. Anyway, Pulisic mm-hmm. career overall, although we might not rate him as a player, you know, whatever. Like he played in Dortmund, from Dortmund came to Chelsea, did okay, won a Champions League, whatever. And now he's playing for AC Milan. Of all the big American players that have come over, like Dempsey, what did he do? Played for Fulham, then Tottenham. Like that was it. He's the one. He's he's always played for big big clubs. Still is playing at a high level and has won something significant. So that's why. They were dubbing him the next Pulisic because well, it's well, tri- what about Adu? Anyway, uh, moving on to the next match. Um, well, um, do do we want to talk about the other clubs, or do you want to quickly go move on to uh, the Liverpool Aston Villa game? And leave the Arsenal game for last. What's the other clubs? Um, no, I'm saying, do you want to talk about like, the Sheffields, the relegation stuff, nah, or man. should we just well, talk about uh, the let's, big let's clubs? Move to, let's move to Liverpool, man. Liverpool, yeah, uh, okay. Who's getting relegated is confirmed, isn't it? Who no, on, only start? one team is confirmed. Um, is so, it? so uh, in terms of uh, the next, also, oh, so the Liverpool game, I should say, sorry, the Liverpool game is obviously Aston Villa away for Liverpool. That is, so you're facing <laughs> Una Emery's uh, Red Army, I guess, or Carrot Blue or Carrot Claret Red, whatever it is, Army. Um, T, uh, what do you want to say? A loss. Man said carrot and red. Oh, you're saying it's red? A loss, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a loss. You beat them already. Yeah, at home. This is a win. Yeah, he smashed them. Come on. It's a loss. It's a loss. Trust me. Is Aston Villa um secured fourth spot? They no, have, haven't yeah. they? No, no, no. I, I no. think I, 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 think I think one more win. To get one point, even is gonna do it. Well, yeah, one point or one more win should do it. Like a win guarantees it. Point, I think, should be. It. We'll have a look later. But I think either a point or a win next game confirms it for them. Yeah. But this well, is the I, issue, obviously. I think it's a I think it's a win for Aston Villa. Liverpool, really? they got nothing to play for. They can't finish second and they can't mm. go below third. So it regardless of what happens the next two games, Liverpool are mm. staying where they are. So I don't think it will make a difference. I I won't be surprised if he plays all the youngsters. Because Liverpool you... can't do any more than where they are at now. So yeah. they can't finish fourth. They won't go fourth. Um, and the, not go the best they so. can do is is Arsenal is, lose the next two games. They can go second, right? That's the best they can do. No, the best they can do is yeah, it's go second every, because we're only City five points Arsenal ahead. Lose all the games and live. Oh yeah, 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 That's yeah. That's the best. Yeah. They can do. That, that's yeah, the best. Yeah. Yeah. Win, yeah. Technically, um, you still is, haven't sent me that Excel sheet. Oh, man. I'll, I'll I'll send it. I'll send it. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a loss. I think it's a Liverpool who, who loss. Who do you who do you think's the danger man for them? Who do you, who would you think? Oh, do you know what this player is going to be trouble for Liverpool to deal with. Well, Oli Watkins obviously is yeah. um, there, and um, I don't really know much. Oh, that that guy, you know that Italian guy. Um, I, I can't. Nicola Zan- Zaniolo. Zaniolo. I heard he's yeah. he's quite good as well, but I don't. He's, in terms of he's good I'm, in terms of in the prem. I haven't seen him like do all that. But prior to coming to the prem in Italy, because I think he was in Bournemouth for a while. Uh, in Italy, when he was under Ro- when he was with Roma, um, I think yeah. because he wanted more money, all of that stuff. He left on a free. Essentially, he thought he was going to get a big offer, but no one really came in for him. But he was he was meant to be like a really good upcoming cam centre forward kind of player. Like everyone yeah. like he was very highly rated. But he hasn't fully worked out. But yeah, he's meant to be Douglas good. Douglas Luiz is gonna smash us. Um Oli Watkins with the finish, you know, them tap ins. Yeah, yeah. And that's good. What what about Bailey Diaby? Do you worry about th- those two that, you know, good pace now? Well, Diaby is good. I mean 
It's, I, it's, it's going to be a win. I, it'll be 2 0 at Aston Villa, I think, straight. Liverpool, full team? Uh, Any injuries? No, I don't think we've got. I think, well, Jota's still out. Um, other than that, I think we don't have. I don't think so. I don't think we've got any injuries. To be honest, I stopped following like too much of the Liverpool news because um, it's done I for us now. Is it? The, the league is done. Bold. After you bottled it. Yeah. Don't really think. You know what? I don't really think Liverpool bottled it, mate. They, they, it's not like they were at the top for a while. Yeah, I would yeah. say you need to it's define like, bottling, bro. It's not bottling like we is... were at the top of the league for ninety-seven percent of the year. Exactly. I, and you know what? I even said it for, to you boys as well. If Arsenal don't win the league, you're, they're not bottling it. No, no, they haven't no, been no, no, on no, top no, for a substantial yeah, yeah, yeah. amount of time. Arsenal are, so this term Liverpool bottling, bro. Come on. We, we've mentioned this. I've spoken to. We've Ali, we spoke about this, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah. This yeah. Year, yeah. Uh, even if Arsenal don't win the league this year, it's not bottling it. Yeah. But I think Liverpool the, have bottled it. The thing, go on, Raj. Why, okay, before, yeah, Raj. Why right. do you think they've bottled it? Because, why do you think they've bottled it? Because when the chance was there, you know that weekend that Arsenal and um, Liverpool both lost, yeah. Yeah. The chance was there for both Liverpool and Arsenal. Okay, we we both lost. The next game decides. The next game decides. Arsenal went in to win. Why are Sauds laughing for? Because <laughs> really? no, you he's just trying, said he's, he's trying so hard. You know, let, you let just finish. said you let just said finish, Liverpool had finish. the chance, but Liverpool lost that game, and Arsenal did as well. So your butlers yeah. well by that definition. No, but okay, fine. I said losing both was fine, but the reaction <laughs> is what happened and um, made it a bottle job. If you went and reacted and won and carried on winning, it's not a bottle job because you're still in the hunt. But <laughs> after How? that, they capitulated. <laughs> Hang on, let me finish. No, no, and they then didn't the pressure capitulate. Got to them. They and lost the bottle second job. game. They when lost the two games in a row. You, huh? When the pressure gets to you, that's what I call a bottle job. Arsenal had it last season. The pressure got to them and they bottled it. Liverpool how can you compare? How can you compare Arsenal's last season bottle job to Liverpool losing one game more than Arsenal that weekend? Not one game, and then they carried on. <laughs> Nah, Raj. Can't, How? You can't compare that. Results. Last season, you were eight points clear with three or four games to go. I'm not That's denying last game. season. I'm not denying last season, though. I'm talking about this season. No, you're I'm comparing Liverpool. You're comparing, just comparing Liverpool to um, last season's Arsenal. Yeah, you can because yeah. I'm do that. defining what a bottle job is. I'm defining a no. You bottle can't. Job there's is. no comparison. If Arsenal's <laughs> last season is a bottle job. There's nothing that tops that. Okay. So yes, okay, Liverpool okay, okay. Yeah, Tariq. Wait, wait. Let Tariq finish, then Raj speak. Yeah, Tariq, no, finish no. your point. What I'm trying to say is that, yes, Liverpool may have, you know, they played shit, they lost a game, went on to lose another one, they did all of these, whatever happened, happened. But you can't compare, like, what Arsenal, Arsenal, 97% of the year, they were first. They were eight points clear at one point, three games to go, and then they lost the league. Like, it, it was four games to go, whatever it was. They were I top agree. of the league for 97%. How can you compare... A season Liverpool, like if they lose one game, they go third. If they lose two games, they're out of it. That's not bottle job. Anyone's like Arsenal could have lost it. It's it's three team. It's okay, three Raj, wait, 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 Raj, wait, Tarek, you finished. No, what I'm saying is it's a three horse race. You can't say if it's a three horse race, one team losing two games doesn't mean they bottled it. it it's just someone's bound to lose or mouth. Okay, it, you can't have three winners. Raj, okay, okay, Raj, say your, say your piece, say your piece, Raj. Of course, you can't have three winners, but my point is if Liverpool carried on winning, even though yeah. they might not have won, <laughs> ifs, buts, and maybe, Tariq, okay. Tariq, Tariq, no, let no, Raj no, finish. No, let, let me explain. This is the point, though. I'm that's why I'm, I'm, I'm comparing if Liverpool had won, carried on winning, even though they might not have won the league, same as Arsenal, I'm not going to call them a bottle because I know there's Man City that have also won and they got more points. That's fine. My point is. When it came to the crunch, when it came to the pressure point, after that defeat, because bound to have defeats here and there, whatever, that it happened that weekend. Arsenal went on to beat whoever, Tottenham or whatever, Chelsea. They they carried on putting that pressure on, but Liverpool succumbed to the pressure and bottled it. That's my, that's my, if you okay. don't agree with that definition okay. of bottling, yeah. that's fine. If you think the only bo- definition of a bottle job is a team has to stay at top for like, consistently for like 10 weeks or whatever and then drop out, then that's your definition. I don't agree with that definition. No, no, so let me tell you something. Let me wait, tell you wait, something. Wait, 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 
I want to know before last season, before last season, let's say for example, has there ever been any team that finished second or third or whatever that's yeah. been referred to as a bottle job? Any team, the Liverpool. Liverpool. Has there ever been a time? Has yeah, there ever Liverpool. been a time when? When have Liverpool do you been? Wait, wait, do, you remember, do you remember that uh, year Liverpool w- with Brendan Rodgers? I think yeah. it was 34 games. They were like four or five points ahead. Then they lost at Crystal Palace. Yeah, we, 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 yeah. We, we slipped. And, yeah, yeah, we slipped. Yeah, yeah. you were literally like 34 all, games yeah. or 35 games. <laughs> How you would remember that? Of course, number bar. Yeah. Has. So for me, I don't know why no one talks about it, but everyone seems to like forgotten. No, but for Liverpool me, were not. Would Liverpool no, were not you, top for the whole season? Liverpool it doesn't matter. Not, you no, 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 no. They were six points ahead with like you. Two, three games however left. many points, it was substantial enough. Where if you had if you had won two or three more games, that's it. It was end of. And this is before you know. Right now, we're having to play the thirty-eight games potentially to get the final thingy. If Liverpool had gone to go on to win 34, 35 games, let's just say, wherever it was, that's it. It would have been confirmed. But because they lost that Crystal Palace game, they completely capitulated and they got overtaken. For me, that was... that was And the for me, the other reason why it was really bad was because that was a very capable Liverpool team. It wasn't like a, a Liverpool team that had no, Jesus up front. Say, was it, it wasn't... You can't, no, it's, you, now you're trying to make excuses for Arsenal. No, no, I'm not. No, no, I'm you're giving... No, I'm not. I'm Arsenal giving your reason. Not capable. No. I've always said how can this. You, how can you... I, I've, I've, said, I've said this to you. This uh, Arsenal team were a year ahead of where they're meant to be. Isn't but it? that was my reason. But for me, that was... For me, that, that year, that league title charge, for me, was maybe just as bad. Or even worse, no. I don't know. No. But yeah, but Ta- no. Tarek thinks last season at the start of last season, you thought Arsenal were going to challenge for the league. No one gave Arsenal a chance chance for even the top four. At the That's start not of the last point. Season. The point isn't that. The point no, but, is not that. But that, the point is on, thirty-five games in, you've been top for thirty-five weeks. Okay, that's the that's point. Fine, so you can't say you can't say, but oh no, we're not going to win it because no, no one no. gave us a chance beginning beginning of the season. How does yeah. that make sense? No, that's like saying you Liverpool say... finished fifth last season. Oh, okay, okay. okay. We Tariq, 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 Raj, oh, right, wait, Sals, 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 go on. Oh, Sals, He's go been on. listening. Sals, give me your input. You're non biased on this. Go on. Yeah, well, boys, what I said it before as well. Biased. I think this season, whoever wins or loses, whatever, they're not bottlers. For me, the, the, the definition of bottlers is a team, say, that is comfortable, really comfortable, say, 10 points ahead or whatever it may be, and then there's three or four games to go and then they end up losing all of them. They sort of crumble. Yeah. That's what bottling is to me. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, everybody defines it in a different way. But honestly, this is not... Bro, I don't like Liverpool in it, but I'll be honest. I don't think they bottled it. It's, it's just a case of one or two games they lost. Raj, go saying? on. Raj, Raj, go on. Then T, yeah. then we finish it here, okay? I want to go, go on. back to that point of... Arsenal, Raj, go like, on. You know what I'm saying? Um... Arsenal weren't expected or whatever. Can we not talk about like, last season? We, we were, yeah. Nah, because Actually, do you admit saying, Arsenal bottled it last season? I admit Arsenal bottled it, okay. yeah. That's it, that's it. Okay, that's You know what it is, boys? I, I really think, Raj, yeah, I don't, bro, you probably won't agree. I think you just want to let go of that title. title that's why you're just yeah. trying to throw it's it that, to it's any of us. No, fans. honestly, no, 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 you're just trying to throw it somewhere else. Because, bro, I'm listen, not, this no. is not a dig at Arsenal, but it was pure bottling it last season. You know it. You I can't agree. top that. I'm no team there. will ever top that. I'm so I think now there. you're just clutching at stores. You're, you're just getting any opportunity. Liverpool lost one game. You're trying to say they bottled it. No, bro. They didn't lose one game, though. That's the point. Bro, that's they the example. Game. You, okay, one, one two, two, games. two games. We lost two, two games. games. Yeah, so that's that's fair enough. They succumb to the pressure. I agree. <laughs> I'm, how many times can I say... Come to the pressure. How many times can I pressure, say? Bro. I what do you know about that pressure? Don't, that don't mean nothing, though, man. That's like Man City lost. They come to the pressure. Champions League, they bottled it. How but can I you say that? That's literally giving that. no credit. But boys, listen. We're, we're going. It swings and roundabouts today. I think. Can I Danny. go back to the uh, Liverpool Aston Villa game? I I I yeah. think. Um, yeah, yeah. Villa. Um, Listen, they've really got nothing to play for as well. I mean, yeah, Champions no, League. No, Villa do. I Villa, think, cha- bro, this will be historic. I, I, I think it's if secure. they get Champions League football. No, so but the way I'm looking at it, it I, I think they've secured it already. What is it? The eight points clear of no, no, not eight points, not eight points. Okay, I'll I'll tell you what how how uh thing they are. Okay, so, so yeah, Aston you, Villa, Aston Villa, 
uh, 36 point, uh, 36 games, yeah. Mm. Two obviously two games to go, yeah. They're on mm. 67. With mm. Tottenham, they've got three games to go. Mm. We're on 60. So potentially, if they lose the next two, if they lose the next two, they um obviously in this is asking a lot though. This is asking Tottenham now need to win against Man City, three. all of those things. They can be overtaken. So they and it's not one point. They need to get three points to but, guarantee. Okay, you know what? We, we can say, oh, I can't see Tottenham winning wherever. But in terms of this game, I think if Salah gets the hug from Klopp, then he might oh come out God. with a couple of bangers. If he's not hugging the mans, <laughs> then obviously they, they're not going to be performing. You know what I mean? Same fool, shambles, Liverpool, bruv. You know what I mean? Nah, Tariq, you, you need to hear this, bro. How embarrassing. You mans were talking about the penalty. Bro, I'd rather have my club fight over penalties than say, oh, you're not hugging what me, penalty? bro. What penalty? What like, penalty? I'm talking no, about the, you know, the... No, do you remember penalty. when... I'm saying... Yeah. What's no, do you Madison? remember when Madiwe? No, no, do you remember when Madiweki and all of them were fighting to take the penalty yeah. of Palmer? Sally saying he would rather have his players fight over penalty than have a fight over a hug. Because whatever, uh, any how fight, you it's the same I can thing. Say, no matter what like, it is, no, but type, come on, that shouldn't you have can't happened. be fight, bro. Mm. Your best player over the last ten years, whatever you want to say, oh, your greatest here, manager Sal. in in <laughs> get out of here, Sal, Liverpool best player say, in this is your... ten years. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, bro, best you player. don't agree. You don't agree. This is one of the best Premier League. He's but he's going to go down as one of the Premier League great. Now I'm saying this as a Chelsea fan, bro. Um, and Jurgen Klopp, you hold him in such high regard. These are two of your star, star boys, bro. You know what I mean? Ha fighting on the touchline because my man didn't hug him. Saying seven star. years, seven years for this. Oh, if I talk, it's going to be fire, bro. Yeah. Fam, yeah, all this is, is, yeah. T, so, since, I, I said, I agree, T I agree. since you're here, what did you make about the whole incident? Yeah, I mean, I agree with um, <coughs> you, you guys. It should never have happened. It's, it's childish. It's ridiculous. Salah's an idiot. He's been an idiot for the last however but, long. But that, that, that incident, it's whose stupid... fault is it, though? It's, they're both at fault. You're, you're saying saying both. Both. Okay. Can I ask you this question? Can I ask you this okay, question? And Salah, so, you know what the Salah, yeah, it's, it's a big game for you, yeah? My guy's on the bench, and he's trying to get he's, him on oh, whatever minute he was. He's rubbish, How? man. He's rubbish. Okay, look at the games that he hasn't played. He went to the African Cup of Nations. We did really well, or whatever he did. He comes back, we're shit again. He was on the bench, we win. He's on the pitch, we lose again. But what, what else am I supposed to do? He can't even bloody pass the ball, bruv. Like, what am I supposed to Look at the stats going and it look at the sounds like expression oozing. Can't pass the ball, bruv. No, look at the games that he started and look at the games that he didn't start and look at how we played and look at the game. Mo Salah, then you told me. Mo Salah, look at down the wing. Okay, okay. Bro, um, look, Egyptian king, I've, bruv. I've, I've mentioned this, his goals... I I know I don't know how he gets the numbers, but it's just I, I, he's really and he's always done this. Sounds you know this childish behavior. You know like if he's starting and he's subbed off, he's always got this attitude and like he's no, some sort of he's like he's a messy or something. But if you're not messy. Get the off yeah, the but pitch, he's, he's a superstar though. T and and he he, you know why does he need to hug like why does he need he's only need a superstar that? in Africa, bro. Yeah, that's so the only place he, he's a superstar. He, he's, He's got Tariq, 18... okay. Are you telling me he's not a Premier League great? He's not going to go down as a Premier League great? He's Liverpool's no. all-time best player, I would say. Whoa, it don't that's matter, going a bit man. far. You don't... Listen, let me tell you something, yeah. Who else he is there? He got the numbers, South? and I'm telling you guys, yeah. Kenny Dagi. The only... No, yeah, no. Rush, Forget Michael Owen, never... Robbie Fowler. Liverpool don't have a good player. Steven... They've never Steve... had Steven... 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 <laughs> He's not bigger than Steven Gerrard, surely. Actually, no, so Liverpool's... Be... Liverpool's not ever had... Look. Forget the that argument. Team? I don't even want to oh go into that. Liverpool's God. never Do had one, a good oh, player. Actually, <laughs> Juan Arna Risakas. Yeah. No. But regardless, yeah, I honestly, I'm telling you guys, the three seasons at first when he got the numbers, I honestly, he would not have got it with that Firmino and Mane. Never. I don't think he would have been. I don't even think. I'm t I know it's um, Heinz, he be whatever, if Max and maybes. But honestly, I believe I that. Because last two maybe. seasons, he's rubbish. Look, I'm saying like if Firmino and Mane went Listen, there, he wouldn't have got it. There is but, a conversation Tariq to be Bay. had about that. Yeah, definitely. Tariq Bay, who's yeah. your all-time top three Liverpool great? There is no Liverpool greats. Yeah. Liverpool don't have great players. Steven Gerrard? Would, okay, let me give you my three. Gerrard first, Salah I don't second. need your three. What do you mean? Why? I'm a football, <laughs> I'm a football <laughs> fan. 
He's forcing it. He's forcing it. But Raj, you might just, as well you said, finish, no, you yeah, who's, who's your third one? Uh, Kara. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So I don't, I don't rate. And I, I've made Such it. Such an idiot. Like, ass. <laughs> can, we ask, uh, can you ask Raj for his three Chelsea top players? <laughs> yeah, I would. Uh, Lamps, JT, and Drugs. Drugs. Like, okay. You're serious about that as well now. All right, so, fine. So, you're thinking about it. Who's your top three then? Ever. Don't say Dennis Wise and Zola. <laughs> Mario Stanich. Did he a drug bar, bruv? Number one, drug two, and one. three. Did he a drug bar? He doesn't care about what that. About, what about Viali? <laughs> no, yeah. Not my top three, uh, T. Because I think um, what gave me most happiness was those players. Uh, Lamps, drug bar, JT. Oh, because of the Premier League. Premier League um, after so long and then obviously the Champions League man 2012 you know 19 um, all right Ma- Ma- was it Ma- March the 19th or whatever it was yeah I'm not um, sure. okay um, that's fine but just one quick bit do you know that, that whole bottle thing I was thinking oh, and I, no no it's just a quick point it's just a quick point you have you to get what? the last word no, in isn't it no no come on i want to say something just let me right, say go on, it sorry sorry go on, what go on. i will say is i wouldn't say they bottled it as per se like arsenal what i would say is they kind of bottled it in the moment like for example you know the winnable games they had that that man new game two of them fa cup and the um, uh the prem they completely bottled those they they couldn't handle the occasion they completely bottled it they lost that crystal palace one nil at home, bro. Do you know how mad that is? Like, like this is a good Crystal Palace, but this is still a very good Liverpool team to lose at Anfield is mad. So that's what I'm saying. Like these moments, they kind of bottled it a bit because these were games they were meant to win. That's all. But anyway, um, we'll move on from that now quickly. Uh, we'll go into the next game, obviously. So obviously we got the Man City. Uh, obviously the title challengers and if they do win obviously it puts a lot of pressure on Arsenal but Arsenal you know to be honest it's going to be a pressure game either way even if Man City win lose draw whatever happens this is a must win game for Arsenal either way and that being said obviously it's Arsenal uh, going to Old Trafford to uh, face Man United um, Raj yeah so what do you have to say um it's a free hit for United, isn't it, man? I can't think. They were so bad. Mm. Who did they play? They got smashed. Uh, Crystal Palace. Crystal, Crystal Palace. Palace, yeah. But they were bad then, man. Uh, I didn't watch the whole game. But I just watched the uh, thing with that reaction afterwards. Carragher was mm. saying uh, Casemiro should retire. <laughs> oh, bro. I was watching the highlights here. I honestly uh, thought he's falling in slow motion when he was trying to make a tackle. That's how bad it was. Yeah, but like, Carragher can't be saying stuff if, like that, know, man. No, no, no. no he, it's fine what he said, but if you saw the way Casemiro was making some no. of those challenges... He said, forget stuff what... like, Casim- he said stuff like Casemiro should be thinking about going to the MLS or the Saudi League. But yeah. That, that's, you might as well the, swear at him. No. <laughs> the way he played T, I honestly think he should do that as well. If you see the, what, know the way he, he was playing... Yeah, oh so he God. played really, really badly. But mm. like Carragher's hardly a um, elite player himself to be. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, our, th- then yeah. again, then, then, then the yeah. argument would be he would probably turn around and say, "Yeah, well, when I was playing rubbish, I would have expected the pundits to have a crack at me." Nah. Mm. So what Kara said was, he admitted he's not nowhere near the player that he was, but yeah. basically said when he realized. When he couldn't hack the pace of the Premier League, yeah. he called it a day. And that's yeah. what he thinks. Uh, yeah, he said, leave the football because the football leaves you in it. Yeah. Do, but do you know what? Well Casemiro, Casemiro isn't even that old, though. He's, 30 he's what? Or something, isn't he? or he's 32. But I think... You know, he, oh, he, he can't handle the Premier League, bro. That's all it is. Yeah, the, I, I mean, is I, like, to be honest, I said, that, like, um, I said that right from the beginning. I thought he did you, so, beginning of last season or like mm-hmm. half season, I thought he did really, really well. He was a manager bounce. Apparently, he did really well. A lot of the Man U fans are saying he did really well because Fred was there. And, you know, Fred was the one that was running around doing all the running for him. 
and all Casemiro had to do was just provide protection. So he was just making the tackles. But now he's got a young player like Kobe Mainu. Obviously, he's not as experienced. Yeah, he's got a bit more legs, but he's nowhere near as strong as uh, uh, Fred. He's nowhere near as experienced. He might be technically better, but obviously experience, uh, physical uh, maturity, strength of a like, proper grown man versus a, a 18-year-old is completely different. And this is where they're, they're kind of having a bit of an issue. And obviously, Casemiro in the Crystal Palace game, fair to him, he was playing centre-back. That is not a position he's ever really played. Although some Man U players, uh, Man U fans said it's a one-off game, someone of his calibre experience should be able to. It's like saying, well, I mean, I can't, I guess there isn't, I don't know, I guess it would be the equivalent of saying Endo needs to play centre-back for one game against a lower league opposition. Like, should he be able to do it or not? That kind of situation, yeah. I guess. But I think it's on Ten Hag, man. I think it's on Ten Hag. I'm sure he could have found a better, like someone who's a bit more. He, he made he green lighted a lot of these purchases. Varane, no, Lisandro. No, 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 but what Raj is saying, I'm sure even there's academy players that are like. Yeah. No, I think if you, do you know look. you say that they already put uh, Kwambala, whatever his name is, he played like a couple of games and he got injured, and he's gone now. So like. If they get any further players of the academy, I think you're looking at like 17, 16 year olds, and that's completely yeah, no, wrong. No, man, I'm there's... sure they've got. But... See, I promise you, I promise you, if there was someone good enough to play Premier, Alif. we forget this is Premier League football, man. I know, no, but it doesn't matter. Easy, you bro. can't. You so... look, we've been playing that Kwanzaa kid, man. Yeah, because he's good enough, yeah? He's good he's enough. Not good enough, you, man. Because I take it out of context, man. Casemiro, yeah? yeah? You have to understand how he plays. He's been mm. majority of his career. He's played with three mans in the midfield. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cruz, Cruz and Modric beside him. So he's a, exactly. he's a good player. So in yeah. terms of United, he's not getting that system. You with me? Yeah, of course. That's, that's that's what, I, I feel like he's right because when he had Fred, he did well because he was it was like part of that similar system, isn't it? Now that's, you find out that's my point. I, in the middle on his own. You with me? Yeah, I go, think it's go, on go Raj. Yeah. yeah, the way he's fingered him in the defense, he's not suited for the defense. He doesn't have the legs for a defense. People are going past him and he's falling over in <laughs> slow motion, like I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> if, if he, all he could do, like, he, I'm not a manager yet, but if I was United manager. Yeah. Bring one Bissaka in at centre back, Dalo with Evans, and get a left back. Even Scott McTominay. Even Scott McTominay. Yeah. Why don't you put Scott McTominay? Because look, oh, wow, in the he wide was areas. as well that game. Or oh, was he? Uh... he and that boys, game. come on. Another thing as well. Don't talk about that game too much in terms of Casemiro because he played in centre back, no? Yeah, no, but yeah. that's what we're saying. Yeah. He yeah, shouldn't but have been there. The thing, bro, come on. Yeah, I know he shouldn't have been there, but I know he had a bad game. But in defence of United, they had the 39-year-old Johnny Evans and Casemiro at centre-back positions. Obviously, they're going to struggle, isn't it? Mm. That's my yeah. Let's be real. Let's cut them some slack. You know what I mean? It's on Ten Hag. The way he's... It's Ten Hag in the yeah. club. Listen, Ten Hag and senior management decided this is the team they're going to go into the Premier League with yeah, before the season started. So, like, anyway. it, like, and, and this is the thing that annoys me the most. Every year, you know, when we're talking about who's the best right back, left back, somehow Johnny, um, somehow Luke Shaw is always said, oh, yeah, he's actually been really good. He's the best left. Bro, he is utter shit. Yeah, but somehow he's always, he's injured. He, he plays that like handful of games. Suddenly he gets good and goes into the England team and, you know, whatever. The, they let go of the good left back they had Regulon. And they don't even have a proper left back because of that. They got screwed. Uh, Ten Hag goes, oh, medical team told me he's fit. But you should know this player's uh, behaviour in terms of he's never injury-free. He's always got issues. That Tyro Mitchell guy, uh, they bought Malassi or someone, whoever he left back, they bought from Holland, one of his first signings. Bro, is he dead or alive? No one knows. Like, genuinely, no one knows. Um, the right back situation has been going on for years. He's been... Like, none of the two seem to want to take the position. Clearly not good enough. Varane, I'm sorry, he was suspect from last year in terms of his commitment. He, I'm not sure if you... Do you remember that time he was going off injured because he wanted because he wanted to make sure he stayed injury-free uh, for the World Cup? As mm. soon as I saw that, I knew, do you know what? Any player that does that, sell them straight away. Because you're, you're you know, like, 
league battle for Champions League, whatever it might be, my guy is saying he wants to be taken off because apparently he has a suspect injury, but he's completely fine literally next week and goes off to play for France. Lisandro Martinez did the same thing. And he's been injured as well. The whole f- these are players they bought. Casemiro was green lit by Ten Hag. He's got no one but himself to blame. Yeah, Hoyland, you spent sixty million on Hoyland for no reason in terms of you knew he was going to be a main striker and he's not even performing. So why spend that money? Why didn't you spend that money on getting a proven striker? You might as well use that money and maybe buy Hoyland next season or buy another young up-and-coming striker. There's always plenty around. There were clear investments to be made in other areas. They didn't, and they decided, and vice versa, both ways. Like, like Tenag's at fault, clearly, for some of those purchases, as well as management for okaying some of these purchases. Like, even Rashford, they should have sold him. What did they do? Extend his contract, make him one of the highest-paid players. He's not even getting games. Mason Mount been injured whole season. Like, I don't know. But back yeah. to the game. Yeah. I think I think it's a free hit for United, but it's a win win um, for them. I, like if they lose free hit, it? they can play yeah. thing. Like it, it, it obviously depends on um like what happens to Man City to City. I feel like if if City draw Yeah. And then Arsenal will will bottle it. If if them if City draw, this is an example of bottling. If City draw, <laughs> yeah, and then Arsenal have a chance to win, like go to the top, yeah, and they draw, that would be a bottle job. I think that could happen potentially, but inshallah, it doesn't happen. Um, <laughs> that's not a bottle Arsenal job, at Raj. Um, I think it's a bottle job, job. T. I think it's a. I think it's not the whole season no, isn't a man. bottle job. What so I will say is it's. Job? I no, think that's not a bottle job. I, I, I think no. I think they because let's be honest, this is probably the worst Man United team we've seen in decades. We can all agree, right? This is probably the oh, worst Man United the, the, team. No, Bro, no, that's the not thing. the point. Whatever that's the case not... is, yeah, you need to remember United are playing for something now. They're behind Chelsea. They want that Europa League as well. Bro, bro, and it's a you, big no, game, no, no. In big you, games, no, no. big you, games, form, everything goes out the window. It goes. You know I mean? No, I know. Take all of this into account. Take all of this into account. Who's got the bigger thing to play for here? It doesn't matter. Team... Ali, it's still Man United. You can't say it's a it's, really no, bad it's, team. It's a, no, no. It's a guaranteed it's win still, for Arsenal. Listen, on paper, everything, this Arsenal team should completely wipe the floor. Completely wipe the floor. And they probably will, but... They should. Doesn't... For me, no, it's hands down. They, they should. They probably will. But if Man mm. City drop points and yeah. then... Arsenal drop points. That's not bottling it. How on earth is that bottling it? From no, I would this. So this and is where Man I United differ. You're playing. No, no, this is where exactly. I differ Old with Trafford. Raj. Yeah. What I would say Old is that as well. Raj, you're on mute. Some. Oh, hold on. Raj, you, you muted yourself. Raj. Maybe that's a good thing. That's maybe that's a good Hang thing. On. Yeah. Wait, Raj. Before you step in, yeah. Yeah. Very. What good, I'm saying. Very is, good point, Raj. They they haven't bottled the whole season or the like league per se like that. What I'm saying, you know, just like the Liverpool game, where you should have won at Crystal, uh, you should have won at home against Crystal Palace. For me, like this is the it, sh- it like we should be winning this. Like there is no reason. Just like the way, for example, the way Man City went to Old Trafford and won three one. I am expecting Arsenal to do a job. Like there is no two way about. Yeah, it might be a tight, hard win or whatever. There is no two way about it. Arsenal should be winning that, but they haven't bought the whole like the whole season, whatever like that. For me, it's just bottling. They bought that game, that moment. That's all it is. But yeah, go on, go on, Raj. What was the point? My, my, I was saying Arsenal should win it. Um, and mm-hmm. this United team are drab. Yeah, they, you know, if you look at some of the stats, so doesn't it be like shots faced and whatnot? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lowest, like with Sheffield United, like yeah. The plus 20 like, shots, they allow yeah, 20, 20 plus shots from the opposition on target each game. And Ten Hag says they play the most progressive uh, football in the league, dynamic, so, dynamic football. So, obviously, on yes. that regard, yeah, Arsenal should be wiping the floor with them because Arsenal have the mm. best attack, the best defense, and United have the worst, probably, like, set up team in the league. So, 
in that thing, it needs to be a like at least a three nil. Um, away from home, Arsenal have been keeping good clean, uh, clean sheets apart from the North London derby, and that was through errors and um, a goalkeeping fault. So I'm expecting a win. But I think there could be some twists and turns this weekend. I hope there is, Hassa. Like, I hope... Because right now, it feels a bit boring. Like, I feel like it's it's just going to take its due course. City will win. Arsenal might win all the games as well. Yeah. City will go to be the league. I just want another twist and turn, regardless of whichever way it goes. I'm, I'm a bit... would need a bit South. of a um, twist to the story, basically. South... What do, you, what do you want to say about this? Um, I think it's... I don't, I don't think you should... You boys are taking it a bit lightly, I think. Um, I think Old Trafford is still Old Trafford, whatever the case is. Um, no, we're not doubting that, but go on. No, but obviously the, the way... You, for example, Raj is saying 3-0 and whatever. I think it's going to be a tight game. You will win, but I think it's going to be a tight one, isn't it? T? I, I, I think Man United are really bad. So I know it's Old Trafford. Um, but, but they're just they're really bad. I think Arsenal win minimum three. Uh, that those two Liverpool games, I remember you both of us saw it, right? We were talking about in the pod. It's amazing how Liverpool allowed Man U to get back in the game. It was yeah. amazing. Like Man United literally did nothing, and somehow they kept on getting chances by by luck, and you know, obviously, yeah. Man scored. Man United it was are mad. Really, really bad. And, All the games, yeah. Liverpool games. I don't know how it, it's yeah, individual Liverpool, magic. Even the Chelsea, game, even individual the Chelsea magic. Game, yeah, I know Chelsea won four three. Or whatever it was, right? It's yeah. not like they played wow or Man United played really well. Mm. I don't know. And Chelsea, and this is what I was saying earlier about Chelsea conceding goals. Um, but they're not like the team, especially Arsenal, because the way Arsenal are playing right now, Arsenal like are the best team in the league in terms of the football they're playing. Um, they, how good they are at the back in defense, they're solid. There's, I, I think they ch- no chance, they don't stand a chance against Arsenal. Sals, what you're saying, yeah, I guess me and Rad as fans, like we're confident to a certain degree, and we're saying because of our prediction. And you're right, uh, when the players get into Trafford, they're there on the pitch, you got all of those Man United fans, you know, sh- singing, shout, whatever. Obviously, the nerves might kick in, but obviously, they're the professionals. They need to overcome it. Whatever mentality they've created this season, they need to use that to overcome all of this. But if you just look at the stats, the way, you know, T's saying it, like, we should be beating this team. Like, this, you're talking about the best defence against, like, you know, the worst defence, you know, one of the best attacks against one of the worst attacks. Like all of these things are in our favor. So that's why I'm in Raj as well saying like we should be beating them comfortably. But yeah, I've, like I'm like, I'd be surprised. I'll give you this. I'll be surprised if it's like, you know, like the Tottenham game, we got 3 0 up within 30 minutes. I'll be surprised if it's like that. I think it might be 1 0 first half, then two more goals second half, or 2 0, then 1 0, or it might be even a 2 1 or 3 1. I can expect like a tight game, but. The, the way Man City uh, beat uh, Man United, I expect Arsenal to do the same job because I don't see Arsenal being that far off. We're just missing yeah, a Haaland. Yeah. You're, you're missing a very... Listen, I'm not even trying to be funny here. Yeah? Mm. I think Tenag will want to beat Arsenal considering he's been yeah, talking about he's, Arsenal he's, the whole he's still, talk, he's still talking about um, that 3-1 he, he, loss. He, I don't know if you boys know this, but I mentioned yeah. it in the last pod, no? He's banging... Every, any interview about a West Ham game, for example, yeah. he brings up the Arsenal game. The the Arsenal, Ralph, yeah. like, I don't yeah. like, I find it weird. Uh, so he, I think you're if right. there's any team he wants to be, yeah. he'll be this, yeah. he's he'll be fired up, bruv. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's so, a, but, yeah, go on, right. There's a compilation on YouTube. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ten Hag loves Arsenal and yeah, every uh, conference he yeah. brings Arsenal up. <laughs> yeah, even the FA Cup game, he's talking about Arsenal. Um, that's what, how that's they should have won. Bruv. Like you're no, right. I don't, I don't know why. The only thing I can see the way Arsenal might draw or lose is obviously goalkeeping, like th- some stupid error again, where we give them a goal. Uh, set piece as usual, sometimes they're just chaos. And I can easily see, because we play that high line, if if, it's, if Rashford and Bruno are playing, I could easily see them two linking up, that kind of thing. And Rashford's got a habit of scoring against us anyway, randomly from God knows where. That could potentially happen. But nonetheless, I, I still expect 
us to do the job. Um, what I would say is, you know, you said Ten Hag wants to, but do you think the players are still backing him? Because there were some rumours, obviously, the players <laughs> are not, like, really What's that whatever. Chat, mate? <laughs> yeah. Did you hear, T? What happened, apparently? Apparently, right. there's a rumour on um, X, uh, on Twitter, I should say, apparently Ganacho uh, on the players' group chat said that bald egg fraud or something like that and one of the nah, other players showed nah, it to nah, him apparently there's a rumor yeah, but nah. but overall apparently there is some stuff going on uh some stuff obviously now now you you know with sancho going to the final with Dortmund, him sancho and um uh, rashford being very good friends apparently i'm sure they're still talking to each other you know about each other's you know life and how things are going on man you how things are going at Dortmund one's living his best life now he's about to go into the final with Dortmund the club that really made him into a superstar one is still stuck at Man United you know not even getting games being benched do you think that any of that would would cause disharmony or one of the reasons why they're playing so poorly again mm, don't know but would you take Rashi to Arsenal, Al? Depends of the price. Forty, I would. <laughs> forty, forty I think, M's, I, I take him. No, no, I think I think at this moment now, Arsenal could do with the Rashford. I would take I him think in a heartbeat, bro. I think you know in that think? team, in the Arsenal team, I think he up front and the ball, the balls he's gonna get. I think he's gonna smash. A forty it M's, I take it. Not He's not going to be sold for 40 M. I know, a... but I'm saying I wouldn't want Arsenal to pay 100 million for him. Nah, they want look, 75 or 80. We need mm. we need a left winger. Yeah, I think he would fit perfectly into Arsenal's team. I think the thing with uh, United here yeah, is he needs a change, man. I think if he comes to an Arsenal team and he's on the left, Saka on the right, and we get someone up top or even Havertz up top will suit his play because. His play is based in coming in, shooting. United, they're based around... Because that's what he does in United. And Saka yeah. does that on the other side, to be fair, with Arsenal. He comes in and shoots. But if but Arsenal play to Saka's strength. And our left side is proper, like, bland. Like, if you see our, the way our play goes, it's mostly to Saka and not Odegaard. But don't, right. we, we are right. There is a right side bias. You're right, because yeah, Odegaard, Saka, both of them are there. Odegaard and Rashford on the left side of that... Mm. I think that would be. Should we just switch off? Or... Huh? No, so oh, so we, can I, I? Basically, the the problem with Man United is, and this is why yeah. Rashford will never go to. Well, we were talking about Man United all this time, Sal. So don't even try it. Arsenal will never. Arsenal will never take Rashford. Is because these Man United players are all on three hundred and fifty thousand pounds a week. That's the problem. Who the Arsenal will yeah. never pay that. Uh, even, I don't even think well Chelsea might actually. But like big ballers, bowling, bowling, bowling wood, bro. Big ballers, no, like, like franchise Man player. I don't, I don't even think Man Cash City money. would give Rashford three hundred and fifty k. Would you take Rashford? Hell no. I, I, I hold Rashford oh. in the same level as Sterling, bro. And I really? think they're both done at here, man. The the done at here. Inconsistent. Done. Nah. Yeah. No, I'm not shocked. having them, bro. Not having them. Um, yeah, but his 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 contract is way too, and it's not just Rashford; it's every single one of their players, Anthony, uh, Sancho, any player they get, they seem like, oh, we we will give you two fifty a week minimum. That's like actually, there is something we do. Um, so we we did speak about this. I think last put me and sales, but I guess you you two guys. So you know what we just talked about uh, Ten Hag potentially these players wanting to play for him or not. And obviously we know with Man United they've got that Ineos thing now. And so Jim Ratcliffe he's taking over football operations. He's going to be making the decision or his team at least. So apparently the the other rumor that came out and I think this is like ninety percent kind of confirmed because it's from one of those legit sources. Um, apparently everyone is for sale. Except for Hoyland, Mainu, and who was the other one? Evans. Hoyland, Mainu, and who else was it, man? It was Ganacho. That's it. So Ganacho, Hoyland. So T, listen to this. Those three players. Who is left out of that? 
So that means Rashford, Bruno, Casemiro, Varane, Lisandro Martinez, um, goalkeeper, Onana, Dalo, uh, Besaka, Malassia, Luke Shaw. Mount. What about Mount? They just bought him. So, uh, well, he wasn't included. That's what I'm saying. Mount. Everyone is out for sale if the right price comes in. So obviously, not everyone would want, like, I'm not sure if a big club would want Mount right now because he's been bloody injured all this time. Maybe the lower clubs might come in for the likes of uh, Bissaka, Shaw, Dalot, blah, blah, blah. But obviously the key players that they know majority of clubs want, Hoyland, Menu, and Ganacho, those three are off limits because I'm guessing they've decided they need more time and they're going to build a team around those three players. But can you, so think about it. Onana was bought just recently and he's yeah. all potentially being sold. And this is, remember, this is like proper, whether, whether it's true or not, it's one thing, but this is plastered everywhere on Twitter, on mainstream sort of football sort of news streams. Do you think the players would, would be affected by that? Would that motivate them to play better or motivate them to, you know, not play good? Well, I, I don't even know. <laughs> The FA Cup, isn't it? It's, that's all, that's what they've got. Have that's got the only thing they're playing for. I, even that, how how did they get through against Coventry? That, but I I don't see them. I don't know, man. I I, I feel for Man United fans. It's you, you really it's I tough don't. times. It's it, why they can piss right off. <laughs> what? Whoa, <laughs> easy. All right, all right, Alif. Maybe we want to figure that. Our, Anyways, Josh, man. Abs. Anyways, I, feel, we'll, I, feel, we'll, I feel we should change the subject, boys, because we talked yeah. about it in the last one. Anyways, Our viewers so, are going to get bored. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. So I Man U's a big club, Man, though. I think Man United are going to lose. And Used to be. Just, Used you know to. what? Um, I was just looking at the wage bill, Man United and yeah. Chelsea's, because I thought Man United and Chelsea is probably the highest. Chelsea's only got one player that's um, 300 plus, and Man United have like four. That's it's not ridiculous. surprising. 300k plus a week. And guess who your one player is, Sals? That is it's the funniest thing ever. No, Madrid. No, Madrid. Sterling. Oh, Sterling. But that makes sense. Do, do, that makes do, sense. Do, do you know what the thing is? Yeah, it, that doesn't tell you the full picture because these, at least United don't have players on bloody eight, ten years, uh, you know, contracts. Well, you've got two play, or well, three players on eight-year contracts. And you've got a whole... Well, what's Enzo of... on that? I, I think he's going to leave the club when it's 37 or something. Bearing in mind, my guy's what, 22, 21? Enzo's, Enzo signed a 10-year contract, isn't he? A 9-year contract. They, so he, It I was an 8-year, they extended it. They extended yeah. the 8-year. So the, can you, so can you still, believe? He's still he got retire another... The club. He's still got... Um, so from next next month, essentially, end of this season, he's got another 7 seasons. Bro, I don't even know, man. I need a calculator for this. I'm so confused way, now, but the he's there for a long time. Contract. He's there for a very long well, you time. You need a calculator to work out how many years they're going to yeah, be Yeah, basically, you know I mean? he's here until the season of 2030 and 31. Something like that, yeah. It's yeah. mad. But, I mean, if you... I'm telling you, yeah. 300,000 Raheem Sterling, that's the highest you've got. Mm. Man United have Casemiro on 350. Yep. Varane? Varane on yeah. 340. Rashford Mason on three. Oh, what no, is Mason, Mason Mount? So Rashford and Martial's 3-3. Three, three. Mason oh, yeah. Mount's on 250. Fernandez on 240. Anthony on 200. Sancho on 200. Maguire on 200. Luke Shaw, 150. Eriksen, 150. Martinez. What, this is a... Lit, I, I'm telling you, I don't even want to go to the... Van der Beek and that, bruv, on 100. Van der Beek? <laughs> I've completely forgot his name. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't even want to go down this list, man. I completely Dallow. forgot Van der Beek is still there. It's, it's, that doesn't it's... matter as much. If they can afford to pay them, that's fine. I don't really see an no, issue. The, to be no, fair, that, the issue here is not about that the club game, generates a lot of money, players. Yeah. Mm. You know, for them, no, they but that's not the point. No, the that's point not the point. That. The point is these players, that's where are they the going to go? Oh, to move on. Okay, all right. Yeah, mm. no one's going to... Who's going to... Even if, let's say, for example, um, I don't know. They're going to be have to be loaned wants out. Wants to go to Arsenal. Wants to go to oh, Arsenal. Oh, they have to take a pay cut. It's simple. Yeah, it? they have to take a pay cut. And do you think, look, Rashford's got five years left on his contract. This is why these Man U players are just sitting there like Maguire. And do you remember, Saleh, what we were saying? The football contract is one of the strongest employment contracts. 
as yeah, long more, as more you don't do nothing crazy, they have to pay you. You turn yeah. up for training, you do the training session, and whether the manager picks you or not doesn't matter. But I do suspect, you know, a lot of these contracts probably do have a game bonus. So, you know, that 350, I'm sure maybe 50K or 100K is dependent if you play a game or something. I, I got a feeling it's like that. No, 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 no. I, think I don't, I don't know about top. United, but I don't know if you boys know about Chelsea. So, a lot of players had to take a pay cut, all the new transfers, because yeah. they didn't qualify for Champions League. So, that was put into the clause, isn't it? Yeah. That That's what I'm saying. There's a Which lot of clauses. One smart move that he did, bro. There, there is oh. a lot of clauses. And it's Newcastle, same, Isak. So, they said if Newcastle don't get into Champions League again, so whatever price Isak is on... I think he's on like 200 or whatever it is. Apparently, that's going to go down to 100 or whatever it is because they didn't make Champions League. So that's one of the reasons why the transfer rumour of Isak potentially leaving Newcastle is getting more thingy because obviously he's saying like, it's not my fault, I scored all the goals, but because you didn't play in, da, 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 he's got a reason to leave as well. So yeah. He's going to go anyway, isn't it? But you know the first cast, you know, um, um, what's that Man United keeper that does a podcast now? Um. Ben Foster. Ben Foster, that's it. Cycling uh, GK, wherever his podcast is. On his one, he explains one of his contracts and how... So they go into it proper. He was going to get four grand oh, yes. for every game. And they, they, they're they so intricate, Sal. If, uh, if, if we survive, you get another four grand for every game you played. They got like... They're, the contracts are so intricate... There are so many sort of stipulations on how your salary is made up. So imagine you hit all of those clauses, you might end up getting 150T as well. But if you've just sitting on the bench, you might be just getting the 50 or, you know, whatever the basic is. But yeah. Um, let me ask you this. I know you guys spoke about yeah. Rashford and Arsenal, obviously, they're the best team uh, in the league right now. So See, Martial... you've said that at least six times today, bro. Anyway, no, no, no. They are. He's though. building us up to knock us down, yeah. but go on. No, yeah. no, no, I'm not. No, you, no, sh you should be ashamed no of yourself. No. You should be no, ashamed of yourself. There's no works. denying. Agenda, agenda, know, agenda FC. I know where you guys are. I was there like 2019. You know that confidence, <laughs> how Liverpool were playing, we'll beat everyone. I was there. I know the feeling. Don't worry. All I right. know the well, feeling. Uh, all right, but, go on to you. Go on. This question goes to you guys. Martial, Anthony Martial, Man United player, he's gone this month. He's on a free. Yeah. Would yeah. you guys take Martial on a free? Nah, man. Raj? Why? I nah. think I would. He's shit. That's why. I think he's a broken player. Mm, 100%, um, bro. If, if you see... Oh, again, if you saw the last podcast, you can relate. Me and Saz were listening to something Arsene Wenger said. And Arsene Wenger was saying, uh, when a player makes a transfer, 10% of players, it doesn't matter where they go. Because they are great players, they'll still shine. And these are your players like Mbappe, uh, potentially Salah, you know, uh, Haaland. They're, they're, they're going to look great. Kevin De Bruyne, they're going to look great wherever they go. But rest of the other 90% of the transfers, players like Sancho, Rashford potentially, you know, Saka even, I would put him in his, you know, he's not that elite talent. They need to be in, in the right uh, team with the right manager to make themselves look good. And Martial, for me, he went to a team where, you know, uh, for the last 10, 15 years, however long it's been, has been complete T. I think T's frozen now. I'm going to kick him from studio. Hopefully he can join in again. Um... Yeah, he's completely been in turmoil. So in terms of development for all of those Man United players, whether it's Rashford, whether it's Martial, whether it's Ganacho, well, Ganacho here and there, but all of those players, like, have been, like, none of them have seen, reached the level they should have reached. Like, Rashford, remember, obviously, at one point, they were saying he's, he's better than Mbappe or he's on that level. Look where he is, like, ma million miles away. Million miles away. He's just got a good PR team and, obviously, the whole English thing. Um, in terms of, obviously, some of the other players, like Martial, I don't think he's helped because he's been injured as well. So that's a lot to do with the medical team. And that goes back to the transfer. 
imagine he went to a team that had a good medical team that took care of him, understood his mm -hmm. physical requirements, you know, if, if he's in the red zone and all that kind of stuff they talk about. If they understood, it, like, if he was in Man City, like, I don't think you'd get the same out, uh, you'd get the same outcome if Martial went to Man City or some of these players. If Sancho didn't go Man United and stayed at Dortmund, for me, his career would be much further ahead. His development as a player would be much further ahead. But him going to Man United, for me, it looks like he wasted two years of his career or however long he was at Man United. So, yeah. Martial is a broken player now. I don't think... I think Mudrik as well is completely broken. I don't think he'll ever uh, be able to be on Mudrick's that trajectory. Mudrik's too young, with. though. Mudrik's he, young, man. That's time is on his side. But for me, I think he's a broken player now. I don't think he'll ever be the same. Or he's not going to reach that potential he was meant to reach. Like, look at the difference, like Palmer. And this is, I guess this goes back to, again, Arsa Wenger, that 10%. Look at Palmer. He's come from a team. He's gone to a team, complete disarray. But because he's so talented, he's still able to shine. Doesn't matter. Whereas you get other players around him who came with similar reputation, similar transfer fee that are completely declining but i was you know what sometimes these players just need a bit of time bro um like yeah no, I, no. I, obviously I, time could potentially prove me wrong you're right absolutely right it's my I remember opinion. How when we first signed you know like the likes of drug by sen and all that man's were calling them donkeys bro and look sen can anybody say anything about these players they call them legends bro. Because you give them time, they play, and then they just come. I'm not saying Mudrick for one second before you say anything, bro. He's going to get... <laughs> Clip yeah. you up. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. In it. Give him a bit of time. He's young. The team has been playing shit. You know, absolute dog shit, bro. Chelsea have been. But the last mm. few games, like I said, I think last time as well, last few games we've been playing decent. He's come. He looks uh, like a player as well. So I think next season we can judge at the end, and then we'll see how he gets on in it. So, so um... That's fine. So we'll we'll um we can talk about well, Tottenham all this stuff, but we can talk about them in this um now, I guess, all the other teams. So the relegation thing, Raj, you were saying, yeah. So the relegation thing, so as it stands, Sheffield United's the only one that's confirmed. So the other two teams that couldn't make it out is obviously Luton and Burnley. So if Nottingham Forest get one more point, that's it, Burnley. Uh, pretty much relegated, yeah. That's all it takes. Then it's between um, Luton and Nottingham Forest who gets knocked out. So if Bur if Nottingham Forest win the next game, they're confirmed. That's it. They're safe. The playing so Chelsea, they... mate. It's not going to happen. No, but that's but... what that's what I'm saying. That's why it's such a hard game for Chelsea potentially. Who, who's Luton playing this weekend? If Nottingham Forest uh, lose. But their goal difference is really bad, though. Yeah, Luton. it is. Luton are West playing... Ham away. Yeah. Is it here? West, Can West you see? Ham away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can yeah. See it. So it's going to be hard. Mm. It's going to be hard. Um, but yeah, all Nottingham Forest have to do... It's in their hands, right? All they have to do is just beat um, Chelsea and they're safe. Yeah, I think... That's all they have to do. Can I change so, my prediction? Can I change my prediction? I think yeah. Nottingham Forest are going to win yeah. against Chelsea. Why are you it now? I, did, I didn't know they need to win the game, bruv, and then they're safe, man. No, that is don't get me wrong. Motivation, like, cause, you know That's what, I mean? what I'm saying. That's that's why, they, that's all they have to do. They just have to win and they're safe. And then they can go on the beach, you know? Nah, that's mad. That's mad. Can you, um? so where, where are they playing the same time? I live Luton, West Ham and Nottingham Forest. Yeah. Yeah. Where is it? I can't even see. Yeah. No, no, no. 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 They're playing it's after. Later. So, Nottingham, so Nottingham if Forest Luton, last. If yeah. Luton lose, it's yeah. done. Nottingham Forest won't care because they'll be yeah. safe. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess that could. If if Luton win or get a draw or whatever, it's still if kind Luton of 50, lose, 50 If West Ham win... But the way West Ham Nottingham have been playing, they're on holiday boys, as well. You need to remember, yeah, they're, they're managerless, West Ham. Oh. Yeah, they they know Moji's thingy, so they, we they might turn Moise, up. by the way, boys. You know that, yeah. yeah? Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Um, so that's that. Can I? Can, I, yeah. can you go up, Alif? I want to see Aston Villa. Um, how in terms of their? They're not going to catch you up. Oh, but Aston Villa's more or less got the thing. They only need they, two points. They they need if they win, it's confirmed. If they, all they need to yeah, do is win, win the next game, 
if they oh, win no, the next game, no, they don't even need to win the next game. They just need Tottenham to draw one. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They can lose yeah. both the games. You know, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's in their it hands. Too. They've it's got in it. their yeah, hands. It's in the, yeah, yeah, they've got it's it. It's in their hands. So what I'm saying is, as long as they win their game, it's done. But yes, you are right. Obviously, by 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 the time it comes to Monday night, obviously, mm-hmm. Tottenham. I mean, as bad as they've been, I would expect them to beat Burnley at home. That is, I would expect them. If yeah, apparently I think some need to win. They've lost four on the bounce. I, I think, yeah, I think they're not gonna lose. Apparently, five. they're saying if Tottenham now lose the next three games, apparently some of the Tottenham fans saying uh, 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 Postacoglu should get sacked. Yeah, but, but, yeah. but boys, I don't know if you know. Yeah, you know, and yeah. Postacoglu. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what was it, man? Brendan Rodgers. Oh, same as Brendan. Only difference is he's got a didgeridoo, cause you know he's, a, he's the Australian Brendan Rodgers well, with a didgeridoo. So Raj, you're right, bruv. You look like you're sleeping there, mate. Hmm? You look like you're I'm sleeping, bro. Yeah. Mm. Um. So obviously, then it's the top. Obviously, we talked about Man City are playing first. Obviously, so if they do win. Obviously, the pressure's on Arsenal. They go to 36 games played, 85 points, two points ahead. Obviously, Arsenal then have a chance immediately on the Sunday. As long as they beat Man United, they'll get they'll go back to that one point sort of. Oh, that's uh, another ahead thing I was going to ask, yep. guys. What's yep. your views on? So I've been checking online. Um, so Tottenham, uh, Man, Man City play Tottenham on Tuesday. Tottenham fan, mate. Do you think they're just going to give the game? Um. Because all the, every single fan yeah. wants Tottenham to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they do. Yeah. But I think Postocoglu... So this is actually... Um, I'll finish it. I'll leave it there unless you guys... I mean, there is an outside chance. Um, Chelsea might get Europe as long as, obviously, Newcastle start losing and <laughs> you Tottenham. You know, I don't think Chelsea fans... So what I was seeing here, yeah, check this out. Yeah. And I was like... Yeah. How can you even say something? So if Man, if Arsenal, let's say, draw even against um, Man United, yeah, Man City could potentially win the league. Yeah, at Tottenham. Yeah, and that this Tottenham fan was like, uh, Man City could potentially win the league against, and she, they were talking to an Arsenal fan against yeah. um, Man City could potentially win the league. Yeah, at Tottenham. Yeah, at, at Spurs. And they were very happy about it. And I'm like, yeah, I swear that means you lose the game. Like, yeah, they were like, we're Bro, gonna be, they're gonna be celebrating. Like, there are more teams that have won the league at Tottenham than Tottenham themselves. You, you, you know, like, what the joke is you, if City win, yeah, at um, yeah. the Spurs ground, whatever yeah. it's called, both teams will be celebrating at the final whistle. Yeah, yeah that's How funny is that. Say. Yeah, How they're saying they want, they want to do a pitch invasion. Um, <laughs> Well, bro, Tottenham need to celebrate something, innit? They don't win anything, mm. bruv. Waste, man. But yeah, sorry. Go on, go on. Uh, no, no, that's that. fine. They, they're obviously not going to do that. I don't think Ars- yeah. that Tottenham going to... Uh, there no, is a, one uh, thing in their favour as well is there's a Premier League rule, innit? They can't sort of... They can't wheel. And, no, you know, so this is... Too much. They, something along them lines. I don't know the ins and outs yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, so this is... is this I mean. is... So this is um, what I wanted to quickly talk about now is obviously there is, again, one of those Twitter news things. I think Athletic or someone has said. And this is why Postacoglu is under pressure, as well as Daniel Levy. So uh, they need European football, which they're kind of guaranteed a bit. Not Well, actually, a lot. it's not guaranteed. They need to keep winning because Newcastle and Chelsea can easily overtake them for the Europa League, right? And obviously, if they're not careful, if they lose the next three games... And obviously, Newcastle, Chelsea keep winning, and Manu. Let's say Manu beat Arsenal, whatever they keep winning, or the two after, and they completely bottle it. Like they end up in eighth or something. I'll Somehow, let's say. Sorry to cut you, but um, yeah. Newcastle actually played Tottenham. I'm sorry, Newcastle played United. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So That's let's say so let's say Chelsea, Newcastle overtake them. Yeah. Chelsea, Newcastle overtake them. They could completely miss on conference league, so that means no European football at all. Yeah, apparently, uh, they were saying on Twitter that apparently the management have already drawn up a list, so they've got one budget with certain players they can buy if they make European football, they got one budget if they make Champions League football and players, 
and obviously another transfer list in the budget if they completely miss out in Europe. So that's why, like, even though, yeah, as fans, we're going to be saying whatever, but Postogoglu knows he needs this team to win because he's been chatting the most about, oh, this team, uh, they can't play the way uh, he wants them to play, so he needs better players, essentially. Daniel Levy, as much as he hates Arsenal, he still wants his team to be in European football, especially, remember, the new Champions League format next year, that uh, it's going into that whole league table format, Apparently, there's more money. And remember, the I think the way it's formatted, you know, the top seeds like Arsenal, Man U, you know, well, whoever makes it in Man City, all the top seeds, they play each other. Then the middle section play each other and the bottom section play each other. Apparently, that's how it, I think, works out. So there's more TV revenue and money. So if there's any season to be in the Champions League, you need to be in it again now because those teams will be getting more money for the transfer budget for the next summer yeah, to get Champions whatever. League is done for them. They're not going to get Champions League. Not Champions League. No, what I'm saying is they're under a lot of pressure. Management, like Postogoglu needs these wins because obviously if he can get keep European football, he can get more yeah. uh, transfer budget, more players. But I don't think they get rid of him. Even if he loses no, no, no. no, 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 those are no, no, those are fans. What I'm whatever we is... say about Tottenham, yeah, Postecoglou's yeah. had a decent season. Yeah, yeah, yeah do you of say, course, of Look course. at the look at they've lost four games in a row, and we're still talking about them making Champions League, like mm. this time of the season, like the, the game week thirty five. The last four mm. games from thirty one to thirty five, they've lost. And they're still yeah. sitting like, oh, we can still make four. That, that's because United, Chelsea, and Newcastle have been rubbish, bro. Inconsistent. I don't like yeah, it. I think those teams have not been able to take advantage of the situation. And Newcastle, yeah, that... go on. Mm, yeah, I think yeah, if Isak, I think if Isak was fit for more of the season, I think Newcastle would have had a chance. Remember, Newcastle, just like Tottenham, their whole back line was completely injured, like completely injured. So I think that affected them massively. Um, Although I think they I do, probably would have so been, I, I I do think Newcastle will um make Europa. I don't think I I think Newcastle will win all their games remaining games as well. I think yeah. I think they'll beat Man United. Mm. Um, they've got Brighton and Brentford left off, um, and Man United. Yeah. And I think they'll win all their games. I think Man U potentially um yeah. will finish eighth. Uh, boys, I, 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 fifth and sixth gets you Europa, right? No, I think fifth gets you Europa. I thought six or seven gets you conference or something. Yeah, no, fifth and sixth get Europa. Europa, if, sorry. If Arsenal win or Arsenal of the champion wins the FA Cup or the top so one of what the top four teams. So if Man United, City potentially, if Man City if Man win City, the FA Cup, yeah, if Man City win the FA Cup, then fifth and sixth get Europa. Mm. So if United finish eighth and win the FA Cup, they, they get Europa, U obviously. Europa, yeah. But and the seventh team and the, doesn't get Europa. No, the seventh team doesn't get anything, uh, but the only the fifth team will get Europa. Bro, I'm a City fan for the FA Cup and the Premier League. Come on, <laughs> say nothing, bro. Need that. So City yeah, team. so as it stands, it's showing um, the Europa League is for fifth only. So Conference League must be sixth yeah. then. Oh, yeah, bro, Conference League is sixth. Bro. But if mm. um, one of the top four teams that qualify for Champions League win mm. the FA the Cup, FA Cup then yeah. that position goes to sixth. Six. And then the okay. seventh will go to Conference. Seventh. Okay. okay Sad, you. bruv. You know Makes why I'm not clued on sense. about this year? Because I thought we're not making Europe or whatever. So I didn't even, you know, mm. check or no. whatever. Now I'm I like, oh, you, you need European. You know? As an elite club, doesn't matter what level you need. No, European of course, football. of course, of course, bro. You know um, I mean? um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it, really. Um, is there any, any other news? Anything else you guys want to talk about quickly? Anything um, else you can think of? Um, you guys can vote for the player of the year. Uh, please vote for Cole Palmer. Viewers as well, vote for Cole we'll, Palmer. We'll, best we'll player in the league. We'll talk about that later. bloody country mile this season. We'll talk Wale. about that I've said the best player in the league this season, Wale. Okay. Um, That's my two cents, bro. We'll talk about it later. Mm -hmm. um, apart from that, T, any, any, any other news we want to talk about quickly or... Champions League, Europa League, anything quickly? Oh, European yeah, Champions football. League... Um... 
PSG out. Do you know what? Do you know what? That's so funny. Kane, the Kane Spurs, the Kane curse. Oh, 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 that was a bro. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. And you know what? Yeah, it's how. Why did he take off um, Musiala and Kane? Like, did he think he's won the game already? They were one so up, happy. isn't it? Up to the 82nd minute. I'm so minute. happy. But team, so happy. Man, check it. Jose Lubrov. Two goals in nine yeah. minutes. I know. My I know, guy I was know. playing for Stoke City in 2014, cuz. And now my guy yeah. comes on. Bruv, that's mad, man. What's but wrong, Real man? Madrid, man, they're a different team in Champions League, man. They're yeah, something bro. else. But he, deep this year, 50, they're potentially 15, 15 Champions League. Yeah. There's clubs out here that have got one, two, well, some have got none. <laughs> but anyway, that's another story. But 15, yeah. bro, that's crazy, man. Crazy. Next team is what? Um, AC Milan with seven or eight. I think Liverpool's got nine or something, haven't they? No, Liverpool no, got six. Man, don't be ridiculous. Is it six? Okay. I think AC no Milan one, no one's got Munich. nine. I think AC Milan, no one's Bayern got Munich. I think the AC next is seven. Milan. Bayern and I think Bayern and Milan, yeah. I think it's yeah, AC got, Milan. Real Madrid. Real Madrid in that competition or something else, man. Nah, bro. Honestly, man. I don't know how how they do it, bro. Like but The you football know is not great. They just make mm. it happen. But you mm. know what? Five of their... So, you know when the European Cup was introduced back in 1955? There were only like four or five teams. Yeah, and Real Madrid won five in a row. Yeah, 55, yeah. 56, yeah. 57, 58, 59. Yeah, that, that first competition, there was only like four or five teams. Okay, yeah. we should take mad. the five away. They're on ten then. <laughs> Yeah, then, but, no, but regardless, don't take the five away because then we'd have to take most of Liverpool ones away. <laughs> Let's not take the five away. But um, yeah, so 15 European they cups, uh, that's, that's crazy, crazy. Mm. Um, okay, um, so yeah, we talked about European stuff, blah blah blah. So that was oh, Milan, much yes, it. you're right. It's Milan next is Milan with seven, Milan AC and Milan, yeah, yeah. Mm. Then it's Liverpool and Bayern with six, mm. and then it's Barca with five. Uh, Inter Milan, how many do they have? Hold on, why are you acting like the, st- the list tops at five, bro? You oh, okay, so the, then you Ajax, the has, Ajax has four. Yeah. Um, Man United have three. Inter Milan have three. Yeah. Um, I I I want to. So the next team on there, I want to skip that team. Go to the next team and say this team after. So that's what I'm gonna do. So you guys understand what I'm trying to do. So Inter Milan have three. Yep. Nottingham Forest have two. Yeah, 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 and yeah. Chelsea yeah. have two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Ch- no, Nottingham Forest won it. <laughs> but I, I, I apologize, Sals. Chelsea are above the list because, um, because it's of more the recent. They... No, no. It's oh, j- the, oh, the letter. letter oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Alphabet. Okay, fine. Yeah. yeah. So Chelsea okay. would, but I wanted to say Nottingham Forest first because credit to Nottingham Forest. Bro, to have two. you just mentioned some elite clubs there, man. What about Celtic? Is it Celtic one or two? One, one. Celtic's one. got one. Benfica got two. Juventus got two. Portals got two. Um, Dor- Aston Villa won. Yeah, Aston Villa has won. Yeah, Dort- Dortmund got one. Um, Feyenoord, um, Marseille, Man City, you know, all, and then it goes on like. That's nuts, you know. PSV, Celtic, whatever. Um, all right, uh, let's end it here, yeah. Um, for, um, don't go off yet. I just want to discuss something quickly. Uh, so yeah, T, do the usuals, please. Um, guys, like, um, share, subscribe. Um, and, um, and you know what? I forgot how it goes, you know, because I've not been on the podcast for a while. Thousand, yeah, where have you been, bro? Thousand subscribers, get some Amazon vouchers or a football shirt. Could be one of these, could be one of these classic football shirts. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so then, yeah, keep sharing, guys. Right? Yeah, so yeah. Can I finish it off? For me, no. Yeah. <laughs> Say something, yeah. man. You look so miserable. Don't worry, Arsenal. Nah, yeah. 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 You know what? He's yeah. laughing all this time, giggling, and now, now and he's like, gone. Yeah. Raj had a long day, man. He had a meeting early in the morning. I had to walk. <laughs> yeah, bears. Let, let, let's I not say walk. where. I'm let's... Proper done. Anyway. <laughs> all right. Meeting. All right, thanks everyone. Um, please do keep uh, Did engaging. Nice Comment on. <laughs> no, he said no. He had a meeting or something. I swear, I thought oh. he said it's nice <laughs> to meet you guys. I thought he no, said no. nice to meet you. 
Is that what he said, bro? No, he said he had a meeting or something. That's what I heard as well, bro. Oh, nice right, to meet you. No, he said thanks no, on a uh, meeting or something. I thought when I said, oh, go on, Raj, finish it off, and you ended up with um, nice to meet you. I, I don't know why. I... <laughs> No, no. Well, anyway, well, no. Like, maybe I did say. Maybe you did say. Yeah. Nice anyway, time, um, guys, uh, comment yes. below. What you yes. Heard. Please do comment below. Keep keep up with the engagement. Um, and what we will be doing uh in the new future since the season is wrapping up, let's see if it does go to the last day. We potentially might be doing a well. I will be. I don't know who else is going to be joining me. Do a, a live watch along just to see, like, if it does go to the last day. We are definitely doing a live watch along for the Champions League final and the Euros. Euros, Euros. really? Okay, fine. No, we'll watch them. Oh, you're gonna back to England, bruv. Oh, what? Just talk about it. General. Okay, fine. Yeah, like, yeah, sure. Like we do here. I mean, yeah, England, but man. come on, guys. But. Saka, the more come on, Saka. okay, the more recent <laughs> one, obviously, potentially watch along for the thirty eighth game, and I watch along for the Champions League final. We might well we might throw Europa League in there if it's uh, Leverkusen, and obviously what season they're having still uh, undefeated, uh, from what I understand, across all competitions. Something yeah. I don't think we. I think they've just matched um, uh, Benfica with um, forty eight mm. games or something. Yeah, something ridiculous. Or have they yeah. gone past them? They might have gone know. past over the Did weekend. They play Who knows? Week, this week. Oh, they played today, isn't it? Is the Europa League Europa. game today? Yeah. Mm. Boys, so you know, it, you know what's mad about that? Yeah, and so yeah. many games I watched, they were losing one nil and whatever, and then yeah, and they've come the back. Or the yeah, injury time, scoring not just one, two, and I'm like, whoa, mm. like, bro, that's it's, mad. It's yeah. something generational. I don't think we'll ever see that. Um, Look, Sam, you know, you say that, you say that, yeah. Today they played. It's funny you're saying this. They're losing 2 0 on the 82nd minute. And they bring it back 2 1 at 82nd minute and then make it 2 2 at 97 minutes. No way. Yeah. So they drew. So they basically but today, drew. But they've gone through yeah, to the drew. final, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've gone through yes. to the final yes. against um, Atlanta. All right. But, um, yeah, so that on. means they've they've broken it. They've, they've got the longest unbeaten. Unbeaten stream. Ever. Starts. Ever. Yeah. 49 um, game. Um, so, okay, yeah. So, let's finish it there. Uh, you boys stay on quickly, all right, before you leave. Um, but, again, thank you, everyone. Um, again, please do like, share, subscribe. Please uh, help us hit that 1,000 sub mark so we can do the football kit giveaway or the Amazon voucher. Please do comment. Uh, engage with us and let us know what you think if you've got any sort of talking points something we missed out or something we should maybe talk about for the next pod we will do that so and obviously our next pod is going to be a review of the weekend games and that's going to be going out on recorded on Monday released on Tuesday and we'll see we take it from there until then stay safe Thank you.